Turning now to another big story in Ottawa tonight, a move to address the bullying and sexual harassment of female RCMP officers that's tarnished the force for years. For the first time, the force is bringing in civilians, an advisory board specifically, for transparency, credibility and an independent perspective. There can be no room and no tolerance for workplace harassment, bullying or sexual misconduct. Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale calls it a meaningful beginning, acknowledging the need to change the culture of the force. I started to normalize the harassment because I didn't know what else to do. Since former Constable Catherine Galliford came forward to CBC News in 2011, many more women have shared their experiences. There was a class action lawsuit that led to a formal apology from the RCMP and a multi-million dollar settlement. Also, Ottawa has tasked the RCMP's first female commissioner with modernizing the force, the way it thinks, acts and behaves. We want to be a more modern, a more effective, a more healthy and more inclusive national police organization. Now, it's hard to argue with the intention of the move, but what kind of change it'll amount to? That's a whole other question and a tricky one. Catherine Cullen explains why. Providing advice and support and assistance to the commissioner. Watching today's announcement, Sherry Benson Podolchuk is filled with hope. This is a step forward. This is something that they've never done, that in my lifetime I never thought I would see. In her 20 years with the RCMP, she knew the pain of bullying and harassment. She says colleagues gave her cruel, sexualized nicknames and that someone left a dead bird in her gym bag. Bullying is a slow and painful death. She later sued the force and in 2009 settled out of court. She hopes bringing in outsiders will help change the culture of the RCMP. Historically, they like to keep everything in-house. They don't like to let anything go out into the public. Change is certainly the government's hope. This is an innovation in the structure of the RCMP that has never existed before in 145 years. But the 13-member civilian board won't look at individual harassment claims, just recommend general procedures and ways to improve the force. Lawyer Emma Phillips co-authored one of the reports recommending civilian oversight, but she questions just how much bite this board will have. To what degree will the uh, RCMP and the senior leadership feel that they really are accountable to this organization? What happens if they don't uh, you know, follow the, the guidance of the, uh, the advisory board? A group representing some RCMP members says this is a positive move, but doesn't want the civilian board to overstep. Cops should be cops and administration should be administration. One thing everyone seems to agree on, any real change won't be quick. This is not a band-aid fix, this is not wow, miracle cure, it is a long-term glacier moving process but at least it is a process. One she hopes will restore trust in what she believes is a broken system. Catherine Cullen, CBC News. Today, Ottawa. With a lot